Hello my sneakers and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode we went all the way over to Sprout Tower, beat the guy and got the TM for Flash. So in this episode we're going to take on Faulkner in the Pokemon City Gym hopefully. So I see some times going inside of the gym. But look at that guy over there real quick. Oh my gosh, ADD going all over the grace. Hello guy, how's it going? Bonjour, are you a trainer? The battle gym leader did when, when you did? Um, not yet. Let's try it. Let's say, we, say yes. Well, a lot. Very nice indeed. Uh, thank you. All right. <laughs> that was it. He was just asking me if I beat the guy, and I was okay. Whatever. Thank you for telling me. Bravo. Bonjour. Good balamo. Good for you. Uh, did I even like fix my like heal my Pokemon? No, I didn't. Luke is still very low. Okay, let's go backwards real quick. My bad. <laughs> Oh well, not really you can do anything about it. Let's uh, run over to the Pokemon Center real quick and uh, heal up Luke real fast before the Pokemon Center closes because as you guys know, the Pokemon Center closes at 8 p.m. I'm joking. Don't, don't take that for, no, no, I was joking. I was just joking because I'm recording so late today. For some reason, I don't know why, tell, tell your cat that I'm recording late because the cat will be like, Dude, you need to stop recording late, Sneak. You are the worst person ever to record at night, and you're still acting crazy today. I'm like, I'm really, really sorry, but that is the truth. All right, so let's go over to the uh, Violet City Gym and take on Faulkner, hopefully. That could be a bad word, but I'm not going to say it because that's a very bad word. Look at this guy. Hello there, buddy. How are you doing? Yo, champ in the making. I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me. If you believe, then the champion dream can come true. You believe? Then listen. A well, grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep this in mind. All right. Well, I have a fire type, so I'm good. Fire city gym. Ooh, cool. So let's go up here and fly up. Holy cow! Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So what we can actually do is either fight all these trainers or go all the way over to Falconer. So I'm gonna actually fight these trainers because I want the experience and it'd be cool for you guys to see how the uh, whole gyms go because you can pretty much walk right around this whole thing like this. But, oh well, I'll, I'll just go and fight all these trainers real quick. Here we go. I'm going to show them, though, because, you know, they're all the same person. So, like, what do you do? What do you do? I can't believe how ridiculous high this is. But from up here, you can tell what it feels like to be a bird Pokemon. Let's see. Well, let me see if you're good enough to face Faulkner. Well, of course I am, because I am my sneaks and times with Luke. And you can never stop me, because you're just a simple uh, bird keeper Abe. Bird Keeper Abe's best thing. Oh, look, it's a Spearow that you guys told me to catch, but I didn't catch yet because we haven't found one yet. All right, so here's an Ember. Let's hit him with the Ember attack real quick. Hopefully, it deals a little bit of damage to him because, as you guys know, Ember is not really effective against bird Pokemon, but it's just a normal attack, so it'll just deal a little tiny bit of damage to it. But it's not like it's not effective at all, so it won't even deal any damage to it at all, but... That is what it is. Ember's pretty good for all, like, all, all types of Pokemon, except for uh, water type, because, you know, water type is pretty much like, you you can't touch me, water, because I'll just burn you out and what? wash you out. Well, it's wash you out, not burn you out. I'm trying to make a freaking pun about water. Ho ho! You some kind of big shot? Oh, we'll see. What happens if you get pushed around here? You think about struggle and fall? People here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Bring it on. All right, let's go there, buddy. Your friend wasn't that great of a Pokemon trainer at all. I killed him on one hit, so he has two Pokemon this time. He's gonna... Oh, look, it's Rod. Hey, Rod, how are you doing? Oh, my gosh. He's always a Pidgey, which is a few of those in the wild, but it's going to be pretty nice because we can use our Ember attack once again, which are, we are way over level for this uh, gym, but uh, not to worry because, you know, um, and time will tell, and the trainers get a lot harder as we go. And once we get some more Pokemon, it'll balance out a lot more because, well, I'll have to train all the Pokemon at once and it'll be a lot easier to train them if we all go around the same level. All right, so we kill this guy in one hit with a critical hit. He goes down like an idiot and we got 82 experience points for Luke. That's very cool. I'm oh, sorry, Rod. Gah! <laughs> That's not how you sound, Rod, but I'm sorry. All right, so we can go and fight Faulkner. Hello there, Faulkner. How are you doing? I'm Faulkner, the Vile City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Alright, so here we go, reversing Faulkner. Look at him. He's like, hey, what's up there, bro? I'm like, I don't want to give you a high five. We're fighting today, girl. It's like, oh gosh. So, hello there, Leader Faulkner. You are my best friend. Not really, because, like I said before, we tried to do handshakes, but that didn't work out too well because we just punched each other. All right, so here we go. We're going to use Ember on this Pidgey. He was a level 9 male, and he goes down on one hit because we are way overpowered, like I said beforehand. But not to worry, because he has one more Pokemon to go, which is pretty a lot tougher than this one, which has a Pidgeotto, which is a level 13, which would be a little bit better to fight against him because he's more of a balanced character. 
uh, against us. So let's use Ember once again. We're gonna use it and hopefully it deals like half damage. Okay, we did it. It's, it's good. So hopefully Gus doesn't do that much damage to us since we are fire. Okay, it does. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I, th I thought it would because, uh, well, maybe not because fire, if you blow on it, it will make it bigger. So, but only sometimes though. All right, so he does roost, which I forget what that does. Okay, so it heals his health. So we have to watch out for that because if we do, don't, if, and, and if we miss, he'll go up to full health and then we have to wait a few more turns to kill him. All right, so he is using roost a lot of the times. So I really think it only has like five uh, uses. So once we get down there, we can actually kill him in junk. So that's going to be very useful for us in the future. Use Roost again. Oh my gosh, this is the best battle in the world. Faulkner, you better get your Pokemon and Pidgeotto better. But you can't because you don't know how to use anything else but Roost. Because my Ember attack is too flamey, flame, flame, flame for you. So he has about one more Roost to go until he has no more uh, healing abilities. Um, yeah, so here we go we're using Ember once again. Ever to kill him. Come on there, buddy. You never want to fight me ever again, do you? And he got burned this time. Good. And he's used one more gust, so he doesn't have any, any more roosts to go. And now since he's burned, he'll you lose damage every time. I know, I'm sorry, Mr. Pidgeotto. We can still fly. Oh crap, don't you fly. Don't you dare fly. Alright, and we defeat him right now. Here we go. See you later, Faulkner and Pidgeotto. Alright, and we gain 313 experience points, which leads loot to level 16. Awesome. Yeah. I'm talking about. We almost gained to level 17 as well. We're almost halfway there. I understand. A bow out of gr gratitude. Yeah, that's cool. So we gained 1,500 Poke Dollars. That's really cool. For pity's sake, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. But a defeat is a defeat. All right. Take this official Pokemon League badge. This one is the Cypher badge. So you can see the Cypher badge from Faulkner. Yeah, cool. Thank you for that. Now we have seven more to go until we make it to the next gym and to the Elite Four. With that badge. Pokemon including including traded Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you without question. It will also enable you to use the secret move Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. Obtain TM 51. What is that one? Is it a Rock Smash or something like that? What is it? Uh, by, by using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. A TM can be only used once. Okay, so it's Roost, which is what Pidgeot used all the time in what our fight. So it's Roost half the max HP. There are Pokemon gems in cities and towns ahead. Make good use of them. As for your next move, I would suggest Azalea Town. Okay. Thank you so much, Faulkner. I will go to Azalea Town and fight off against everyone who is there and hopefully make it and get some more gym badges. All right. Sweetness. This is so odd. Uh, next episode, what the frick for some called us? Whoa. What's up there, buddy? Hello, Sneak. We've discovered something. The details are, uh, well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon in the Vi in Violet City. Could you meet him and pick up the egg? Well, fine. You don't even say freaking bye. I'm not ever inviting you to my house ever again, Professor L. You never want to be there again. All right, so let's go to the Pokemon real quick and see what that Professor AIDS wants to do. I said AIDS. I'm sorry. Oh, look at him. He's right here. Hello, buddy. How you doing? A long time no s- not a long time no sneak sneak. I've been waiting for you. This is this is from the Professor Elm. This is weird. We would like you to take care of the egg. Um, no. What? I never expected you to say no. You're kidding me, right? Professor Elm really wants you to take care of it. All right. Fine, I'll take the egg. Thank you. We received the egg from the assistant. Sweetness, buddy. After you left, Professor Elm received a phone call. I have no idea what they were talking about. But after a while, Professor Elm suddenly cried out, I can't thank anyone else sooner sooner than Sneak. Then he insisted that I hand this egg to you. That's how I came to deliver the egg to you. It seems that a Pokemon will hatch from it, it only from when you keep it in your party of Pokemon. That's another reason we chose chosen you, Sneak. Please take care of it. Well, thank you for that. You just walked through Luke's butt. Alright, so guys, next episode, we will make our way down to Azalea Town. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Like me see more of my videos, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching us. What the frick? Me. Oh my. That egg. That must be... I see. So it's handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. What the frick? The egg is truly an important egg. Please do not take uh, do take care of it for me. Is that understood? Sure. I'm counting on you. All right. See you later. All right. So for real this time, in the next episode, we'll go to the Zalia Town and see what's up there. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you later, sneakers.